So it's Sunday. It's time for my mental health vlog. I'm doing it a little bit earlier today. Um, this week has been... This week has been chaotic. This week has been hard. This week has been frustrating. Um, this week has been disappointing. Um, <clears throat> I'll start with uh, Valentine's Day night. You know, the weather was just starting to turn cold and my boyfriend and I really wanted to try and do something for our first Valentine. So we were gonna get food from the restaurant that we um, got food from for our first date. And we were gonna go to the park and park in a really you know pretty spot and just sit in the car with the heater on and eat dinner. So the roads we were starting to get a little icy <clears throat> when we went to pick up our food, but it was okay, it was manageable. And then we got to the park and the park was closed. And for me, it was just like the straw that broke the camel's back because, <clears throat> you know, my boyfriend, this was like his first Valentine's Day with somebody. And um, he deserved it to be special. He deserved to be able to do something. And with COVID and the weather and it was just like the universe was like, nope, <clears throat> nope, you're not doing anything. So we did find a spot to park and we ate. Um, the food was good and it was, I mean, it was what it was. It was eating in the back seat of the car with the heater on with like nobody around you and icy rain coming down. So we ate in the car and then we, and then we came home and somewhere about two or three in the morning, the power went out. So this was early Monday morning, the power went out. Well, luckily Monday was a holiday, so I didn't have to worry about work. <clears throat> but I did let my boss know, I'm like, hey, power is out. I don't know how long it's gonna be out. Usually probably a couple hours. I should be back to work. I should be able to work tomorrow, but just you know, heads up in case it doesn't come back up. Monday was cold and um, just kind of sat in the apartment in the dark waiting for the power to come back on. But I had water, so it was okay. And um, power didn't come back on. And Tuesday morning woke up hoping to have power. No, no power. So, again, just sat around the apartment, waiting. By this point, we had kind of ventured out around us and no place was open because no place had power. And um, <clears throat> so we just kind of sat with candles and sat in the dark, sat in the cold, waiting for the power to come back on. Um, Tuesday evening, my, my boyfriend was like, or Tuesday afternoon, my boyfriend was like, we're going to stay with my parents. Power's out. Water pressure starting to get pretty low. Let's just go stay with my parents in Sienna. So I was being hard headed and just like, well, I need to just be here. What about the dog? What about the power? What about work? I, I just, I need to be here. And, and I was being very, very, very hard headed, which I get honestly from both sides of my family. <clears throat> but he convinced me to make the smarter choice because he wasn't going to leave me in the dark by myself. And I tried to get him, you know, I'm like, well, you go, you can have warmth and power and water and you you go i'll stay here and, and that for him that wasn't an option he was equally hard-headed but he was hard-headed for the right reasons i was hard-headed for the wrong so we ended up packing up i got in the car loaded up the dog and um started making the journey south normally a 35 40 minute drive took us about two hours 
we stayed off the freeways. Roads were really icy. Um, <clears throat> but we made it down here. His parents had power. So I immediately plugged in my laptop and, and tried to get a couple hours of work in to help out my team. Something. Um, and it was nice. There was heat. There was warmth. We had a nice dinner. And then sometime in the middle of the night, the power went out here as well. So we still had water. There was no boil notice. But again, I woke up cold. So it sucked. I was getting really tired of waking up cold. But <clears throat> everybody in the state was going through it. I really couldn't complain. It wasn't like a me problem. It was an us problem. We were all, all going through it. Uh, one of my friends on Facebook said, I'm getting really tired of being Houston strong. Can't we be Houston prepared for once? Total mood. Total mood. Oh my God. Total mood. <clears throat> yeah, the state was not handling this, this problem well at all. There was a lot of finger pointing. There was a lot of yelling. There was a lot of screaming. There was a lot of, uh, you know, disappearing senators going to Mexico. Um, <clears throat> but the state did not handle this well. So, we spent the entire day without power. Again, not able to work. Uh, my boyfriend and I drove around trying to find, you know, what was available. Some semblance of food. And, um... I think the power finally came on about 10.30 that night. And it stayed on. So, was it Thursday morning? It was the first time I woke up warm. So that was, that was nice. Um, my son and my ex-husband um, were staying in the woodlands with a acquaintance. And, um, so I was happy that my son was safe with, you know, heat and clean water. Wasn't thrilled with where he was, but that's not my call. Um, but he was safe. Uh, Friday, my ex and my son went back to the house. Um, they were no longer under a boil notice, I think. Uh, boil water notice. My apartment is still under a boil water notice, but the power did come back on. <clears throat> um, but because I was under the boil notice, I decided to stay in Siena. So because I was staying in Siena, um, and my ex didn't feel it was the right time for my son to, to be out with so many power and water issues still going on. So he stayed home this weekend, so I didn't get a chance to see him this weekend, which was a little bit sad. Um, <clears throat> I did decide to stay in Siena a few more days just because of the boil notice, but I will be heading back to uh, the apartment um, this afternoon, so I'm all packed up. And I will be going there and figuring out water once I get there. Um, so that's been the week. The week has been a little bit insane, and um, but we've made it through, and I was very grateful for my boyfriend and his parents for putting my dog and I up and providing food and water and shelter and all that kind of stuff. It was really nice. And they've gone out of their way to treat me like family, which was pretty awesome. So that's just it. This week has all been about just kind of survival and staying warm. And um, trying not to get too frustrated and point fingers at, at who did what and when and where and whose fault this was and what could have been done to be better because the grand scheme of things where we are right now wasn't something we can control and therefore we just have to kind of accept it and deal with it the best we can which you have to do sometimes all right guys that's it <clears throat> um i'll talk to you all next week as always uh, check on your friends make sure you tell me tell them you love them check on your family tell them you love them Make sure you remind yourself you love yourself as well. All right. I'll talk to you guys next week.